What's up guys, it's Mo, and today I have another long-awaited, I thought I had done this already, um, tutorial for you guys using Silhouette um, Studio and the um, the sticker template files that I have for you guys. I have upgraded to Business Edition, which means that um, I don't have to do like tracing and stuff if I have a PNG image like this is. Um, so if I, you, I can use the PNG images that I upload for you guys um, as my cut files in Silhouette Studio, so, or Silhouette Business Edition, it kind of acts like how the Cricut Design Space just knows the cut lines already from your PNG. Um, but I'm going to show you, so I'm mentioning that because you'll see Business Edition up here, but this tutorial is for if you have the free version or even the... I don't know, designer edition, but if you have the free version where you need to do tracing and stuff like that, this, you don't have to upgrade this. You can do this for free. Um, the free version of Silhouette Studio. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop in the blackout file here and also the white file. What we're going to do is, excuse me, first off, we're going to center your blackout file to the page. Then we're going to go open up the tracing. This stuff has changed. When I upgraded my um, silhouette, I was like, somebody give me a tutorial because I don't have any clue. But we're going to set our trace area. And to do that, it's just like you normally would do. You're going to drag to create a little trace area. We're going to, since it's all black, it's going to be easy for the Silhouette software to find the edges and whatnot. So then we're just going to trace outer edge. And once that happens, we can, you can go ahead and remove. You can either delete it or you can keep it. You can do whatever you want. Um, but you can take this, right click and select release compound path. And what that means is you can edit each of these guys individually. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to open up, where's my downloads, um, a couple of scenes that I have made. I will leave a link to my Cricut video. In the beginning of that video, I show you how to make these little like scenes here. There's some scenes here too. Um, in Pixlr, I find it easier to do that in Pixlr. You can do this a similar way in like Photoshop or whatever you may use to create your little scenes for um, your, um, what do you call it? Stickers, or this could even be something that you are learning to do. I use Pixlr because it's free and it's easy and I don't have to download anything because it's all online and I just, I like it. So now I'm going to drag, well, maybe I'll keep it over here. I was going to drag it over to my other um, uh, screen, but we can just take our little scene, drag it over here and fill it in this box. Now we can do the same thing. Bring this guy over here drag and drop and fill it into this box. And these are the, you can do this with patterns. You can do whatever you want. Um, you can scale and move and whatever. Um, but this is, these are patterns that I have made a specific size. Now let's say you maybe want to, um, drag in a picture or something. So I'm just going to drag in this picture here and I love doing photo kits as well. Like I love the, the photo realistic kits, not necessarily these um, kits with like clip art and stuff. Um, I'm not quite sure why this is lagging on me, but I'm just trying to drag this photo in. Are you going to go in? Are you going in? Um, and what I normally do is I go ahead and crop the photo within um, Silhouette Studio. So let's get this out of the way here. I am doing a couple different things in my, um, on my computer. So it's kind of lagging here. So I'm just going to zoom out, um, so that I can resize this picture. So I've zoomed out and I'm just going to resize him. And what I normally do is use the crop feature. So let's zoom in a little bit more. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom in. We'll scroll up a little bit. I'm going to go to, actually we'll just right click and I think we can send to back. So I'll line them up where I want the picture to be cropped at. Beep, beep, beep. And we'll select 
both the red outline of our trace and the picture and I'll go over here to the modify panel and I'll sub, uh, select crop. So then that's going to crop them down and you can do the same thing for these guys. The only other issue is you're going to have to go back in and add your cut line of the red cut line there so that you can tell your silhouette where to cut. Um, so I'm going to control Z and hopefully that works. Control Z. Yeah, so then we can delete this and I'll just resume dropping in some patterns or I guess some images rather into the squares here. Let's see that one and then we'll put this one in because why not? Okay, cool. So now what we can also do is change our fill colors here. We can go to the color pane, uh, we can get our little eyedropper and we can start changing our colors. And I usually start with, let's zoom in a little bit here, zoom. In order to get my like color palette, if you will, um, I usually start with the checklists because those are gonna be um, kind of easy to see how all the colors look together uh, before I start filling things in. So we'll do this, we'll do this. Let's get, what other color should we get? maybe this like dark brown sure so now I have sort of the color palette I want to go for with um, changing the colors in my template if that makes sense so maybe I'll take this one and this one and we'll go whoops no I don't want the eyedropper because I don't want to select this one. I wanted this one. Dropper, we'll go green. We'll do this guy. This guy. This one. And maybe we'll do him orange. We'll do this one. This one. And this one. This color. And we'll do this one. Oops, I need to make, let's make this one, this color as well. Oops, no, this color. Okay, and then we'll do this one, this one, this one. This one as this brown color. Are you gonna change? Are you gonna change? Okay, sweet. So now, then I'll take these guys here. Whoops. Let's zoom in a little bit. Zoom. Okay. I swear to God. Silhouette, it, silhouette and Cricut Design Space, they both get on my nerves is what I'm trying to get at. With the selecting and the lagging and it's just like six and one half dozen and the other, honestly. Okay, so I'll make this green. And then we'll select this one, this one, and this one, and we'll make this, what is even happening? This, and we'll make this one orange. And then we'll do this one, this one, and this one. And we'll make those this color, boink. <laughs> stop this one this one control Z this 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 eyedropper this color okay this one this one this one eyedropper this color now, if, let's go down over here, and I'm going to add in glitter pattern to this uh, set of headers here. And I find the best like aesthetically pleasing way to do this is to um, right click, I think, and we need to like join. 
or weld. I'm not sure what it's called in um, Silhouette Studio. Make compound path is what we need to do. So then let me go find our glitter pattern. And I have a video on my channel on how to make a glitter pattern um, and use and you can use it to make glitter headers in Cricut Design Space is what it's geared towards. But you can also drag and drop it into something like Silhouette Studio. So that's what I'm going to do. Drag and drop it into this here and it should populate uh, the glitter into these headers. So you can see there's glitter in there now. Okay, so now we want to zoom out, zoom out, and we want to make sure that we have all the red around our um, elements here because we're going to take this and then we're also going to center this to the page. And you're not going to see your red elements um, come through. But we're going to center that to the page and we want to go bring to front. And you're not going to see the red lines because this is kind of covering them up, but we know the red lines are there and that's what the silhouette is going to read to um, cut your stickers. So now we can go to our page here and add our registration marks. So we're going to turn them on. And what I always do is go to advanced and you can see this for the most part fits in the print thin cut, or I'm sorry, print and cut area of Silhouette Studio. So you can see this 6.75 by 9.25 area of the Cricut Explorer is also comparable to the default area of the, um, what is this called? Of Silhouette Studio. This is, this is not specific to the business edition. This is every Silhouette edition. This is your print and cut area. What I normally do is I drag the um, registration marks off a little bit and then we will just send it to, we'll print it first obviously, and then we'll send it to our Silhouette. We'll tell it to cut the lines and it'll have the red highlighted and then you just choose your pressure and whatever you've done and that is how you customize the sticker templates um, in Silhouette Studio. So there's also an SVG file that I have added to the listings for the sticker templates. However, if you have the free version of Silhouette, you can do it this way. Originally, I designed these templates to be used with the free version because I want you guys, as I'm sure you know, <laughs> um, if you've been with me this far, I want you guys to be able to um, create the stickers that you want for very little investment. I don't, I'm not, I want you guys to have fun in your planners. That's all I want. And I'm not trying to charge anybody out the wazoo because I just want you guys to have fun. You spent the money and 150 bucks, whatever it is now, heck, I don't know, on your portrait or your Cricut Explorer or whatever. And you know, you may be feeling limited or not, you know, like you can't, you can't do what you want to do because you don't have, you haven't paid for this or you haven't paid for that. You can. That's my whole goal is to show you that you can get away with what you have and do what you want to do. So if you found this video helpful, I would love for you to like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I have a ton more um, planner DIY videos. Cricut mainly is what I focus on, but I do have a little bit of silhouette. I thought I had done this video a long time ago for you guys, but I guess I didn't. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I want you guys to be able to be creative in your planner and I hope this video helped you and yeah, stick around, see what other kind of videos I got going on. If you want to get creative in your planner and I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.